what is the scuttlebutt amongst the uh, uh, talent evaluation and scouting community, which may be the chattiest bunch of all the chatty bunches in the NFL, about what happened on <laughs> Sunday Night Football, about what the Eagles did? What What are you hearing? Ear to the ground, Daniel. Oh, uh, I, I just I, I think that the execution was very poor. So if you if you come into that game and say, look, Nate Sudfeld's been here for four years. We want to evaluate some players on our roster. And so we're going to start Nate Sudfeld in this game so we can get a look at him. And I don't think it would have been really much of a story. The Giants would have been pissed, but it, it, would have, it wouldn't have been a big stink. It was, okay, they want to use this opportunity to evaluate some young players. That's not new. That's been done a million times before. Um, but it, the, the time in which you decided to insert Sudfeld into the lineup on the heels of not taking a tying field goal, it just was, it didn't look good, man. I look at it as, as uh, you know, if you were if you were a big time band and and you had an opportunity to help a young artist and you said, hey, we're going to have you come out, kind of warm the crowd up a little bit before we get to our opening act and then before I come on the stage, but they like turned the lights down, it was go time and they they brought that guy out as the lead singer, like that wasn't his time. Hmm. You know, I, I guess again, uh, and, and that's why I would love to get more of the perspective of of the scouting community um, and and the talent evaluation community because. All of that was sacrificed on the altar of a better draft position, from what it, from what it really yeah. looks like to me. And, and look, when you look back, when you look back on it, and if they if they get Jamar Chase with the sixth pick, and he wouldn't have been available at the ninth pick for all the poor headlines and the grief and the talk radio and all that stuff, they're not going to care. They got the better player. That's right. <laughs> you know, Judge. I mean, Chris, you you went down the sixth overall picks, right? Quentin Nelson, Jamal Adams, right? And yeah, yeah. Jamal Adams and some great Justin play, Herbert, great players. At what six. We were just talking about and yeah. Justin Herbert. So, so, Stanley. so, so, so I, I understand that. But then there is also the evaluation of what goes on in a locker room, and these guys have got to be beyond yeah. pissed off. And how well, that's you... what I'm saying. There's there's no reason why you can't have your cake and eat it too. You could have you could have gone about it, and you know, for lack of a better word tanked the right way which is just to start him as opposed to trying to enter him into the lineup at the end of the game like that just that didn't look good you could accomplish both goals no and i know that and and i'll I'll reveal a little bit of our again text exchanges that i have because i was constantly texting you i'm like can't the jets just lose every last game and you were like you can't (laughs) you can't run a team in a locker room like that i mean you were you were kind of keeping me you know on the road with some you know sensible guardrails of me just losing my mind while texting you you know that you're basically that that you can't do that in the nfl and i'm like well why not we're seeing it kind of all play out in one microcosm daniel yeah and it sounds like there is a lot of frustration there um not just from uh from players but other coaches and the jets thing was interesting rich because you have like say the jets had done that right say they had just pulled everybody after they after this the crazy game against the raiders um, well, then you, the, the worry is, man, is this going to be, you, you know, a new coach would be excited about coming in for Trevor Lawrence, but is the new coach going to think that he's going to have to take orders from management and, and the owner of, of things like that? It just kind of, it muddies the water a little bit. Um, so it, it's not apples to oranges, the Jets situation versus the Eagles situation. I think you could defend it more if the Jets had done it. This one was just, again, it was there's a right way and a wrong way to get to the to get to the goal to get it accomplished. That was just the wrong way to, to get there. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.